gang. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Food Corner. I'm your host, Dr. J. Today we're going to check out the Crepe Bar. It's over in Tempe. They have some sweet crepes. They have some savory crepes. They have some really cool accoutrements that go with them. The granola is absolutely out of this world. you got to try that. They have the good old-fashioned uh, Coca-Cola in the bottle. That's kind of a neat little thing that they have. Great coffee selection. Excellent. I'm going to go check them out. I'm going to come back and let you know, let you see what I saw, and here we go. Um, one of the reasons I opened up Crate Bar was to create an environment, a breakfast and lunch environment that was just lively, vibrant, uh, full of culture, full of life, and something that just is true to how I like to eat and dine. So it's a true extension of what I have always wanted to, to be a part of. So I created Crate Bar for that. Crate Bar doesn't boast, but very subtly, it brags. Good food, friendly staff, and great music. menu. Um, just like it says, we specialize in crepes, um, but we do things a lot different than most creperies. Um, we're very farm farm focused, uh, farm ingredient focused. Um, have a great relationship with our purveyors that are you know locally uh, you know located. Um, you know, the, the crepes we do a variety of we do savories and sweets. Um, a lot of a lot of playful interpretations of classic crepe dishes that you would find in you know, parts of France, parts of uh, parts of Europe. Um, we got a couple of things that are really like, that stands out to be crepe bar-esque um, are, you know, infusing some of our, um, you know, front of the house beverages like into the batter. So, you know, our, our menu is very seasonal, very playful, very thought-provoking, um, and it's just, you know, um, a lot of plays off of, you know, the classic and, and European style crepes. Um, with our, with our take, with my take. Everything is expertly plated and designed down to the smallest detail. My favorite thing on the menu to make, um, you know, believe it or not, it's, you know, crepes are, our, are the star, but we do a lot of sides that are some of my favorites. Um, currently, my favorite thing, um, and it changes often, right, um, the cereal. The cereal that just hits all five tastes, um, it's like a granola or muesli. Um, you can eat it raw, you can eat it plain, or you can put milk in it. Um, it's one of my favorite things to make. If I were to make, if I were to call out one of my favorite crepes to make, um, it's probably one of our newest ones. It's a play off of chili quiles. Um, our menu, the restaurant focuses on no waste, minimizing waste. Um, so we take any of the, the crepes that aren't made for the day, um, we cut them into, into chips, um, fry them in olive oil, and then we use it and build a and we build a, a chili quile. Um, like our version of a chili quile, but it's using all of the, the, the crepes that aren't sold for the day. So. Chef Jeff has found a way to keep things simple, yet complex, and always elegant. What I love about doing what I do, what I love about Crepe Bar, um, by far, hands down, it's just the culture, it's the community, it's the relationships. Uh, you know, it's being able to do what I love to do, and that's cooking, that's creating. Um, that's, that's cultivating. Um, what I love about it is everything that you see and feel when you walk in. It's straight up heart and soul, and that's what I love about it. Thanks everyone for checking me out on this episode of Food Corner. I hope you enjoyed the crepe bar. Uh, how delicious did that egg look when that was cut open? Wasn't that absolutely amazing? Try the chilaquilas. The chilaquilas crepe was just out of control. Everything in that in that dish was just amazing. Go down and check out the crepe bar. I'm going to do my best to keep bringing you the good stuff. Stick with me. Thanks for watching Food Corner. Catch you next time.